Hi, this is Light Geoduck from the forums. Today I want to show you how I make my band sets <clears throat> and uh, the materials I want to use. The main thing is I'll be attaching the not only to the pouch but to the slingshot. I'll be using various strips of uh, cotton adhesive tape. They used to use it for grips on bats <clears throat> or uh, use it for grips on you know, like if you have a sprained ankle athletic wrap but it's cotton so you get a better look here's just a little it's not slick at all it sticks really well it's to itself it won't leave any kind of um residue that at least not permanent residue when you take it off and the little fabrics are really tight so uh, you don't have to worry about this just coming off or ripping but it cuts real easy alright so the materials you'll need is that your rotary cutter pouch ruler your your sheet that you're going to cut your bands with, um, marker, various markers. I want to cut taper where one end is fatter, the, the fork end of the band will be fatter, pouch end will be thinner. You, know, you could also do straight cuts if you want, but a key point to take in consideration if you're doing taper, when you make your markings, one side, whatever your measurements say you're doing from half inch to three quarters inch, your half inch being your pouch side, a small side, and three quarters your uh, slingshot side. Just the example, one side you would start, you would measure for your pouch side, which would be the small, they say half inch, three quarters, half inch, three quarters. And then on the other side, you would you would measure from that end the three quarters, half inch, three quarters, half inch. So that would be fork side, pouch side, fork side, pouch side. And the other side will be pouch side, fork side, pouch side, fork side. And the reason doing that, since it would be a taper, it will give you a straight line when you're finished making your band set from this point to and then you'll still have a nice square sheet to make more sets. Alright, oh, and you need a can of Mountain Dew or beverage of choice while you're doing this because you get thirsty. And, okay, I want to cut back and get back with you a second after I get my setup ready. Alright, I pre-cut my strips. This strip of tape is to attach to the bands to the fork. These two strips of tape are to attach the bands to the pouch. Now, here's an extra step that you sh that's helpful if you cut tapered. It's not necessary if you cut straight, but I usually do it anyway to make sure I do it, um, put them through the, the pouch evenly so the lengths are easy. But, um, but in tapered, it's important because since the the widths gradually get bigger and smaller that if it was uneven you'll have your widths be at different lengths and it won't have an even pull so that's that what you do oh and I sorry and I mark it on the other end so when I put it on the fork I can put them on the other one on the fork the same spot is used as a reference. So, the first thing you do, that's the way I do it. There's multiple ways of doing it, but it's the way I do it. I'm going to fold it in half. And what you do is run it through your hole from the inside which this is the side that when you put on a slingshot you pull out
pull it up just so there's enough the line that just passes it wherever you use the indicator you could um, just make sure you do it the same way on the other side then I fold it okay now when you do the other side when you do the other side make sure you fold it in the same direction and you want the, the, the fold part to be on the top so whenever you attach the band you'll have the fold part, the single part on top and the double part facing down so you want it the same way when you do this so they mirror each other just remember everything has to mirror each other alright so I'm gonna cut this off and then I'll show you on, you have to pre-stretch or you have to stretch out your your band before you put the tape on and we'll get back to that alright here's a little attachment I made these are with toggle clamps and I cut a little opening but you could you could either use like grips, vice grips, not vice grips but vices but you can find other ways but this is the way I do it clamped one end already pull it out the pouch clamp the other side and it stretches out your your band and thins it out so you get a nice little tight attachment so you get your little strip of tape get it taped on there started and as you wrap you pull pull tightly if you think you cut too long initially that's how she should look very light very secure oops sorry and you do the same thing on the other side. Alright, like I said, I finished making my band set. Alright, did the other side. As I said before, I have to I'm gonna have the folds down, so when I have to keep that in mind. Folds down are on both sides. Keep that in mind when I attach the bands to the fork. get my indicator mark put it where I want it get my strip of tape tape on that line to, to keep it in your indi on the indicator and the other reason the reason you do that is because you want the fork to be attached the tape to be pressed at the same place on both sides because that's also going to affect your the, the the length basically because you're you put putting when the bands pull you're pulling at a different point if you tape them differently if you understand what I'm saying so it's basically like you're holding it at a different length so you try to keep that length similar as well and as you tape it you're always applying tension by pulling the tape as you go around sure that you're having the 
place another side the same way. Make sure you're not twisting it from the pouch. Make sure it's facing the same, the band's facing the same way as the other one. I know I'm saying that a lot, but that is important. Do a little test, you fold it and then pull and see where if it is in the center. Okay, that looks good. Get my other piece of tape. Moved. So before I go any further, see it comes off really easy. Not easy, but I mean it doesn't. You can take the latex off with no problem. Alright, sorry I didn't realize I was out of the picture. But, there you go. And no matter how hard you stretch that sucker, it will stay in place. Even with the bands. On the pouch side, rather. Stretching that sucker out pretty far. And there you have it. Now occasionally the end, like the little tip will start curling up, especially if you have this fold right where you put your finger. So you just push it down a little bit. But still that sucker's on there tight and when you take it off, you take the latex latex off easily. But as it's stuck, it's good. Alright. Thanks for watching and um catch you on the forums.